guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do, um, not really the launch, but um, an overview or a, a full full view of the junk journal physical kits that I have been um, talking about, that I've been putting together. So I've put together a few different types. This is one of them, um, which is the biggest of the kits. And it's a pretty comprehensive kit. Um, it's got lots and lots of different bits. Hopefully we're going to have loads of fun and there's lots of different aspects that you can kind of play around with and, and do things with. So I'm going to show you kind of what you get. Um, and then probably it will be in another video. We'll kind of go on to um, make some things. So I'm kind of thinking, heading with this um, to making a folio. Um, which obviously if you then buy this kit, we would be able to craft along and, you know, make a similar sort of thing. Um, you will see what I mean by similar when, when I'm showing you what you get. So, like I say, quite a big kit. So, first of all, you will get a bag of wax pellets. So, they're going to be kind of green, um, shades. There's some white ones in there and things. And there's some of those lovely kind of pale greeny colours and things. So, I mean, of course, you can mix these up with your, your wax seals and things. Obviously, you know, I don't provide the, you know, the wax seal stamp thing itself. These are just the pellets. But, yeah, you get a good, a good amount of those. You will get a pouch of little bows. So, I love, love, love using bows. Now, again, these are going to be mixed colours. So, just, you know, the colours I have here are not necessarily going to be identical in ratio you will have a lot of these colors if you see what I mean but you might not have the same number I mean I can see for instance I've got like two green ones you may get one green one you know it's it's going to be a kind of potluck basis but you will get a pouch of bows you will get a pouch of those flowers that I absolutely love 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 using now what I've tried to do is incorporate things that I've had a lot of questions from people saying where do you get those where do you get those um so I've tried to really incorporate lots of things that I use on a regular basis that you guys have asked about. So, you know, you're going to have, yeah, a, a pouch of these. Now, when I say a pouch of these, you've got bigger ones and you've got the smaller ones as well. Um, they're all the, the ones that I use typically, you know, in my, my projects. So that's those. You are then going to get a pouch of um, buckles. Now, when I say buckles, I'm meaning, you know, like for ribbons. I mean, not necessarily for ribbons, actually. I mean, you could use other things. Now, you will only get a few, or maybe a couple, I can't remember, maybe four or something of the Diamante ones. Um, but you will get lots and lots of the pearly ones. So that's the buckles there. And then you will also get some flower Diamante trim. So a length of this. Oops. Oh, it's just caught up in the bag, but a good length of this. So you're going to have plenty of this to be, you know, playing around with and, yeah, using in projects. So, and the idea being, when I put this together, is that we can make a lot of the things that I've typically made over recent months. Um, again, that, you know, people have kind of said, oh, you know, that's lovely, would love to make those or whatever. So hopefully by, you know, putting these packs together, you're going to be able to make some of the things that perhaps, you know, I've made in previous videos or you know that you've kind of expressed that you would like to make but perhaps you don't have all the components so you're then going to get a little paper bag with some tassels in it again they're going to be different colors so I can't guarantee what colors you're going to get but you're going to get a little bag of tassels you are then going to get a, <clears throat> a pouch of right a few few different things so this pouch contains a few of the, you know, flat cabachons. So this is to be able to make some of the wax cabachons that we've made, which again, I know lots of you have asked me where, you know, where to get the cabachons from. Um, so if you, would, you know, like to make the wax cabachons like we have made in the past, you'll have some of these flat ones to, whoops, to make some. Um, so you get some of those. Now, Again, you're going to need glossy accents to be able to actually, you know, stick these down. I think if I recall, I used hot glue to stick my wax in and then I used the glossy accents over the top. So, you know, you're not obviously going to get the adhesives and things like that that you're going to need. But, you know, this is assuming you have basic kind of adhesive and things like that. Um, you're then going to get some of the larger cabachons that, you know, the dangly ones kind of hangy. So, you know, you can then obviously, you know, dangle, dangle things. So that's those. 
Um, and then you're going to have some of these, which are again are dangly, but they've got like a little notch here. So they're going to be a little bit more, um, you know, pronounced on your projects, I suppose. So you're going to get some of those. Um, now, I also, I'd forgotten to put it in, but I will include um, some, what do you call them? Uh, bulb pins. So yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, put in say 10 bulb pins or something like that. So you can make kind of charms and things like that with these types of things. Then you are going to get a packet of um, gemstones. Now, again, the packet of gemstones, they are going to be varying colours. Oops, sorry, just dropping this. Uh, varying colours. So, you know, these colours here in my pack are not necessarily the colours you're going to get in your pack. Um, so, yeah, just kind of have that, you know, in mind. I can't guarantee what colours you're going to get. Um, you know, because obviously, although I've sourced all these things to be able to put these packs together, of course, you know, I had to buy them as they, you know, as I could get hold of them, if you see what I mean. So they're not necessarily going to be the same things. Right, then other loose items that you're going to get is you're going to get a bag of trims. So you're going to get some very pretty, um, you know, this bright pink flower trim, a length of that. So... Again, you know, I tend to use this cutting down and using the individual flowers, but you're going to have a length of that. You're going to have a length of it in the goldy colour. So again, you could cut off the individual flowers. You're going to have a length of this green and white, which how scrummy and gorgeous is that? I absolutely love that colour green. That's probably my favourite colour green. And as you know, green is my favourite colour. So this is probably my actual favourite colour um, out of every colour. I just absolutely love this. It's like an emerald, I suppose, an emerald green. Um, so you're going to get, you know, a length of that to be able to use as well. You're then going to get a length of this beautiful trim, which is very delicate. Hopefully you can kind of see that. It's got these beautiful, delicate kind of rose, um, I don't know, clusters or bunches. So you're going to get a length of that as well. And then you're going to get a length of bling. So, and obviously I get lots of people asking, you know, where do I get my bling? So you're going to get a length of that. So, and this will last you quite a long time because, you know, this length, obviously when I tend to use bling, I mean, I just cut off, you know, one line and, you know, I might use that in half. So, I mean, this is going to go a very long way. I mean, as you can see, there's quite a lot there. So, you know, hopefully that would last you a good long time, you know, not just the project that we're going to kind of do together but you're going to have a lot, yeah, a lot left over and a lot to have fun with. So that's your kind of pouches. Then you're going to get um, another kind of component, which if I just undo this. So obviously you've got the ribbon that it's tied round with that you can obviously use, you know, in your project. So if you keep that, you can obviously use that. Now this is going to contain a, a variety of different things. You're going to get three spools of ribbon. Now again, the ribbons are going to be different. I cannot guarantee what ribbons you are going to get. Um, you may get some wide ribbon, you may get narrower ribbon, you may get, um, you know, satin, you may get organza. I, I can't guarantee what you're going to get. You may even get grow game ribbon. Um, and I can't guarantee the colours, I'm afraid. So you will get three, you know, three, um, not spools, but, you know, reels of ribbon. They will be in varying colours and styles. Okay, so you know, just bear that in mind. But again, ribbon always kind of really handy to have. You are going to have these awesome packs. Now, I absolutely loved these. I managed to get these earlier on, I think this year, but it could have been last year even. Um, and I've managed to obviously find these and now be able to put these into this pack. So I absolutely love these. You get, I'm just having a look. Mm. I can't see how many of these you get. Um, no, I can't see. Anyway, there's quite a few in there, as you can see, quite a, quite a few in there. Then these gorgeous fragments, which again, these have got the vellum um, pieces as well. So you've got those as well, a pack of those. Then you've got these little packs here with, they're like little ephemera pieces. Um, so you've got these two, which are kind of obviously more, you know, short, stubby, rectangular bits like that so again quite a few in there I couldn't tell you how many exactly oh, I don't think it says oh, I don't know oh my eyesight's so terrible I can't even see I think that's just a Chinese um word or something but it could have said a number I don't know um anyway I don't think it does 
so you're going to get a couple of packets of those and then you're going to get this packet of tickets now again these are paper i'd just like to point out these are paper they are not card tickets but you know again you're going to have you know a packet of those you are then going to have four packets of stamps so i mean i know i keep saying the word again so that's frustrating to keep hearing me say that so i do apologize but what i've done is included stamp packet packs that are going to give us um you know maximum kind of uh i don't know maximum appearances maximum different things that we can do so you've got obviously these swirly ones i mean i love a swirly stamp and things so you've got kind of decorative elements and things like that which i absolutely love you've got some of these tiny ones um like the car the typewriter the clock the hot air balloon you know different types of things um again in tiny form that you know you'd be able to do things with those then you've got these now i have to say i absolutely love how these look so i haven't used any of these stamps yet so i'm just you know we will use them together for the first time but they are sort of crests and things like that so absolutely just love them so yeah we're going to have a lot of fun with those and then you've got these ones now these have got a couple of backgroundy kind of stamps it's not um decorative script but you've got some you know uh text text type stamp um and then you've got more decorative stamps here in the form of kind of leaves and you know florally type bits and then another decorative piece here which you know again i just absolutely love then you've got another couple of decorative elements there then you've got a couple well three different pieces these are all vintage fabrics now when i say vintage they are not like victorian or anything like that they're probably like 80s i would imagine um but yeah you've got one from this sheet of fabric here and again you know i must just point out i cannot guarantee that yours is going to have the volume of florals because there were portions of the fabric that were less decorative so i just really want to keep emphasizing that because i don't want anyone to feel disappointed if you get a section you know that had maybe less florals it's just kind of potluck and um yeah like i say i just can't guarantee what um you know combination that you're going to get but i mean hopefully you're going to have some lovely pieces that you're really 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 pleased with you're then going to have this gorgeous fabric which this is much much thinner it was from an old um you know vintage kind of duvet like i say probably from the 70s or 80s um it is much thinner fabric but to be honest perfect for ruffles absolutely perfect so you could kind of tear lengths of this and stitch them on your sewing machine into ruffles it would also be quite good for um, fabric flowers because it's quite delicate. So that one. And then you've got also a sheet of the... Um, <laughs> I never know how you pronounce this. Tol de Joy is how I pronounce it. Pretty sure that's not the pronunciation. I had a friend who once said it was Toi. Um, but I'm not sure how that would sound. Toi de Joy, I don't know. Anyway, you have some of this. Again, it's vintage. Um... And again, the pattern obviously is going to be different on each because this was a repeating pattern with about, you know, I don't know, 10 different kind of sort of sections of images. So again, I can't guarantee what image you're going to get, but you're going to get um, a piece of that. You're also going to get, let me just move these out of the way, you're also going to get a couple of the internal envelopes and I've been using these a lot over the last, you know, year or two. Um, so that if we're making a folio, we can obviously use them now again i have given the fabrics so they are big enough to cover one of the envelopes should you wish to use the envelopes as journal covers so that is the size i haven't got measurements for these bits of fabric but they are big enough to be able to comfortably cover your envelope okay so you've got like i say a couple of the um internal envelopes obviously the you know the sheets of fabric uh, you've got five of these envelopes, um, which are the five by sevens, which are my, you know, my favourite um, size of envelopes to use. Uh, I will come on to this in a moment. You then have a lace pack. So these lace packs I've obviously sold in my shop over the course of this year. I've had them um, a couple of times in my shop and they've generally been very well received. So I have included a lace pack. Now, the lace packs include eight different laces and there's approximately one metre per colour so you will get approximately one meter per colour so eight meters altogether approximately 
Um, and again, these are going to be different packs. I cannot guarantee what lace anybody will receive. They will be a variety. Hopefully you won't get any repeats in a pack. Um, they will all be unique, different laces, but I cannot guarantee what laces you're going to get. The next item you're going to get, you're going to get um, a Ladybird book. Now, again, these are going to all be different because, of course, I have been sourcing these um, things for this pack for several, um, actually, a few months now. Um, so, of course, you know, these are just going to be books that I could get hold of. And, of course, you know, I've got eight of these packs for sale. I am not plus one that I'm going to be using. I couldn't get nine of the same books. So you're all going to get a different book. Mine is the motor car. Um, I think other examples of some of the other books, I'm pretty sure there was a nursery rhyme book and I think there was the wild flowers book, which I have used before in a video. So, you know, they're absolutely lovely. And to be honest, every book that you receive, you know, any of the, any of the books that you receive, are going to be full of gorgeous images. You know, the Ladybird books are gorgeous, gorgeous books. They have got lovely images in them. So hopefully no one would be disappointed with the book that they received, you know, no matter what um, theme or what book it was, you would, you would get a book that you love. So that's all of those things. Then the final two, like, physical pieces that you get, and I will come on to, to this in a minute, but you get a pack of my fussy cuts. Now, again, I've had these in my shop um, a couple of times over this year, and they are the fussy cut packs. Now, there are, I think I'm right in saying 40, 40 fussy cuts in these packs. Again, they're going to be all different. Um, so, you know, I cannot guarantee what is going to be contained in each fussy cut pack. But these are the types of things that you will receive. So I'm just going to quickly open it up to show you. <clears throat> okay. So you should receive at least one, you know, one large image. So for instance, the, the shoe here, um, you know, there's going to be probably some labels in there. Like I, like I say, I mean, I'm, I'm saying probably because I can't guarantee, um, you know, maybe a couple of, um, you know, vintage ephemera type pieces. You maybe will get some shoes, you maybe get some butterflies. You know, a bunch of different things, um, you know, that just are going to be super fun. And yeah, just just a really nice kind of mixture of different um, things. So you will all get, you know, each pack contains one of those. And, you know, as I've said before, these are intended to be like a gorgeous goodie bag for your, either yourself or somebody new to crafting or maybe like, you know, if, I don't know, a husband or a loved one or your, your kids club together and they say, you know, mum, what do you want for Christmas? This is hopefully going to be, you know, a really good, um, you know, indulgent treat, you know, for anyone who, who gets them. Then the final, um, like, physical piece, and like I say, I will come on to this in a minute, um, you get this envelope. It's sealed with a wax seal, so let's see if I can actually peel it off without breaking the wax seal. Okay, and in here is a whole bunch of vintage ephemera. So... They are small snippets of vintage ephemera. So, um, again, can't guarantee what's going to be in each. I think I included a cigarette card in each, but again, can't can't swear to that. Definitely couldn't swear to whether you're going to get an airmail envelope. Um, I think I included a playing card, but again, can't remember because it's, you know, this has been several weeks in the planning and putting these kits together. You should all get a postcard. I'm sure that I did include a postcard for everybody, again, I, you know, I wouldn't swear to that. And then you're going to get various bits of vintage ephemera. Now, these are all vintage um, and they are pieces from vintage ephemera. So you will have some sheet music in there. You will have, um, you know, potentially maybe some kind of images like this. Oops. You'll maybe have some, you know, book pages and things. Um, here I've got like a little... I don't know what you would call that. I suppose like a little note card. Um, and maybe some vintage document and things like that. So you're going to have, you know, a good assortment of things. I think there's 25 items, but again, I wouldn't swear to it because it's been several weeks since I put these together. And obviously they've been sealed with the wax seal, so I couldn't go back in and count them. Um, but, you know, you're going to have a lot of, or, you know, a good selection of vintage, actual vintage pieces. 
like I say, that will be again on another potluck basis because obviously these are one-off. Oh gosh, I can't even get it in the envelope now. These are one-off items. You know, these are genuine vintage items. So of course, I cannot guarantee you know what you're going to get because you know I've only got one of each document or one of each book and things like that but yeah you're going to get that so of course then you'll have the envelope that you can then use as well okay so that's all the physical stuff that you're going to get you are also going to get a USB stick now <clears throat> I've done it this way for several reasons really um the USB stick is going to contain some digital um you know papers and things like that that you can obviously either download your, and print yourself you could take your USB stick to a print shop and get them to print it. You know, you could take it around to your, I don't know, friend's house or, you know, workplace or, you know, wherever you print if you don't print at home. Now, I've put the files onto this USB stick. And, you know, for anyone who doesn't know, the USB stick, it's just got this USB port, as they call them, just needs to plug in the side of your computer. So find the port that matches that, plug it in and it will come up. On your computer with the files and that's where you can download your files now i've done it this way because obviously the cost of postage and i've talked about this a lot lately has just got very very prohibitive um with regards to obviously you know sending very heavy packages now this package obviously you know i mean there's a, an incredible amount here it will be bundled probably in like bubble wrap and parcel tape to try and keep the costs down um again i haven't quite packed one of these up yet but yeah i'm thinking kind of bubble wrap and parcel tape because i'm going to try and keep the costs down of the postage and obviously if i put them in boxes it's going to get bulkier it's going to get heavier and the postage costs are going to go up significantly so to keep the postage costs down i'm going to try and you know try and do that so the usb stick will you know contain papers that you can then print yourself and it is not going to then affect your postage costs. So this also will be included in your package. So I'm going to just quickly move these things to one side and then we can have a look and I'll show you the papers that will be contained on your USB stick. Now, I have tried to include, um, you know, several different things so that, again, if you're following along and we're going to make a folio or, you know, whatever project we're going to make, you won't be then necessarily restricted to using what I'm using. You can mix and match, you know, anything that you want. So if you decide, well, actually, I, I'm not, you know, fussed by that colour combination, there will hopefully be, you know, something that you will like in the papers that you will be able to print off. So I'm just going to kind of run you through these. And these are papers that are not currently in my shop. Now, I'm not saying they're never going to be in my shop, but they're not currently in there. So there is this set here in the browns obviously and I've done them in the browns um so that you know they're going to be very neutral so hopefully whatever um you know combination of like say the laces that I said you know are going to be different in every pack or anything else you are going to hopefully have things that will go with the brown papers if you see what I mean so you know no matter what laces combination you get no matter which of the ladybird books you get and things like that you will have some papers in this mix that are going to be complementary and go nicely with your your fabrics your ribbons your you know everything else so hopefully you're going to find that they are a nice you know nice selection so that's the kind of neutral set you will then get Right, I'm back. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm, This is actually a couple of weeks later because I had to wait for my ink to arrive before I could film the rest of the video because I wasn't able to print out the rest of the papers. Um, So the good news is um, I've now printed out the papers so we can have a look and see what the other papers are. So I'm just going to kind of move them out of the way a bit. So this is another one of the sets of papers that you will get. Obviously, this one is kind of pinks and greens. Oops, now I'm showing you upside down. Pinks and greens, um, very florally and very, you know, very yummy. So, you know, very different in contrast to the other one. Sorry, I just moved that to the back. Um, very different in contrast to the other kit, which was very browns and um, neutrals based. So, there we go. 
Okay, so I mean, again, depending on what Ladybird book that you have got will depend which background paper you're going to feel more of a leaning towards, I suppose. Um, and as I say, obviously, the Ladybird books are all going to be different. And then in with this particular kit, you've got some ephemera pieces with pink tones and you've also got the pink toned um, jugs and cups and things. So that's that one. Just pop that out of the way. Then you get a blue and kind of neutral or a teal and neutral kind of shaded um, kit. So I will just show you that. So all of these, like I say, these are all on the USB stick. So you can then obviously, you know, either put them onto your laptop or, you know, your device and then um, print them out yourself. Or if you, you know, don't have a printer, you can take them to a print shop or a friend or, you know, a family member and ask them to print them for you. But this is a very, very pretty pretty kit it's obviously very similar to the neutral and brown one but it's obviously in the teal and browns so love the addition of the teal colors really 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 pretty okay oops oops just just mixed in some of my uh christmas kits so yeah i apologize for that um <clears throat> Those pages obviously were not contained in there, but yep, yeah, these ones were. Um, and then you also get a little sort of ephemera um, part of the kit. So you get obviously some gorgeous ephemera type items. So, you know, could be printed off to use as journal cards or, um, you know, labels or, you know, have you like really. Um, but you could obviously use these kind of separately. So, it's a very, very, very big kit. And like I say, lots of versatility to it and things like that. Now, because I have been waiting for my ink to arrive, that's given me plenty of time to decide how to, um, you know, incorporate this kit. So it will have an accompanying series, a build your own folio series, um, which I have filmed the whole series now whilst I was waiting for the ink. Um, so yeah, that will be starting, um, you know, hopefully tomorrow, um, you know, after obviously, you know, this video kind of showing the kits themselves. So I just want to say thank you so much to anyone who has purchased the kit already. Um, obviously while I was filming the series, I didn't know whether any kits would actually sell or anything else. Actually, as it happens, several of them have sold already. Um, so I just want to say a massive thank you to those people who've bought one already. Um, and there are a couple at this point of filming this, there are a couple left, left, couple left, left, couple left to buy, um, on my shabby dabby uk website. Um, obviously, you know, by the time this video goes out, I don't know whether they will still be available or not. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you like the selection of items that I've put together um you know and yeah i mean hopefully we're just going to have a lot of fun because we will all make the exact identical project but it's going to have so many different looks because of course everyone's got um you know a different ladybird book and different um fussy cut pieces and things like that and of course that will kind of govern probably which background papers you decide to use so hopefully we are going to end up with you know a lot of different kind of looks for the same project um, so, you know, if you're a member of the Facebook group and you've bought a kit and you're following along, or even if you haven't bought a kit, if you follow along with this series, please, please load your pictures up onto the Facebook group. Do share your project, do share what yours looks like and how it kind of, you know, looks different so we can all see the wonderful different um, looks that we're going to get. So, yeah, that's kind of it, really. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow for episode one of the Build Your Own Folio. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.